Hello, buddy. What's up? How you doing? Welcome back to the game make tutorial. Today, we'll be continuing on our path and creating Pac-Man. Recap from last video is we created this very simple player object with grid-based movement. You can press in any direction and it will see him walk around. In this video, we'll be continuing on that and create simple walls and collision detection, which we'll be later building on in future videos. For now, let's get the game make. If you're following on this tutorial after my previous video, then you should be having an SPR player, OBJ player, not room test or room zero as it was called in the previous video. If not, you'll find a download link to this project file in the description so you can follow along step by step as we go. I'll start by adding a new sprite. I will call it OBJ wall. This will be basically the sprite that I'm going to be using for the wall. This is also going to be temporary. We're going to create a proper sprite later on, but for now it's okay to get the base game running. I will choose a dark gray color, fill it in, and that's everything we need. Center it, and okay that. Also, we want to use, do a small change to the player sprite, just to, for aesthetic sake. I want to stretch it down to 24 pixels, and then I want to resize scan with 32, giving it an 8 pixel blank space around it and the reason I want a blank space is because I want 32 by 32 mask around it for collision detection. Next up, create an object, OBJ wall. Did I not call it OBJ wall? OBJ wall. Lol. Again, I can't not type. There. And of course I call my sprite OBJ. There. There we go. OBJ wall. Give it the sprite wall and press OK. No code needed in there. Next up, OBJ player. Go back into the step event and move the player. We're going to steal some of the code here. Last three lines. Cut, uh, cut them out and then we're going to add another code action here. We're going to paste the same code, the code that we stole and we're going to write here if is moving. This will just make it a little bit easier to for us to go when we're going to if we need to check for uh, errors later on. We call this collision detection and movement. And here we'll just move around some of the text so we can easily act right what we want, like so, and that, and here. So, last time we created, I said, a grid based movement system, meaning that we won't really need a pixel perfect. Collision detection. We want to only be able to move if there is 32 pixels open space on the next. We don't want to move only 3 pixels and stop. So we can do, since we have on player a 32 by 32 uh, mask, this will be much easier for us to do so. We'll do if place meeting. This will check if there is um, a wall to the right of us, or to the left of us, depending on what the horizontal speed is. We'll set it to Y and OBJ wall. If there is such a thing, we want to set HSP to zero, so it stops moving. And we want to set move timer to zero, so that we can set is moving to false. So you can search for more other movement. But when there is not a wall, we want to be able to move, so we write X plus equal HSP very important that this is written right after check for the collision detection. Then we will need another line if place meeting x comma y plus vsp because you want to check the vertical axis as well. Same line almost. We will set vsp equal to zero, move timer equal to zero, and y plus equal vsp. And if, then we can remove these two. Everything changes. And now, uh, if there is no collision detection either on below, above, or left or right, then x-axis will change and y-axis will change and the move by move timer will go down. Now if we run this first of all, we'll check if it's working, see if there's any errors. Same life. As you can see, the player object is now a little bit smaller, which is all right. Then comes a quick design. I will just go into room test here. Delete the player, set to 256 by 288. You do not have to exact follow these exact measurements. 
This is basically just for testing purposes. Like so. We'll now place the OG player somewhere on the screen. And we can try it out. There we go. Very simple and easy collision detection. You can walk around with the map and pressing down, nothing is happening. Pressing up, nothing happening. Right go, left goes. Left, right, nothing happens. We can go in all of the spaces, but we cannot go through the walls. Now that I said, this is a grid based movement, so you will not really need pixel perf make collision detection. You just want to be able to move between the 32 by 32 spaces. So that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really if you liked it, then make sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you really loved it, then make sure to, make sure to subscribe because that helps me out a bunch. And uh, if you have a suggestion of what we can do in the future videos, either in this series or just game maker tutorials in general, then either write it down in the comments or Facebook or Twitter. You will see this links on the screen and in the description. Check that out if you want. Uh, so until next time, have a good time and a great day.